So in this role play, uh, you see the context statement. The context tells us that the role play or the conversation is starting after an examination. And that is why no introductions uh, would be necessary. Uh, we can assume the name of the patient. In this case, let's assume that the patient's name is Lisa. And the role play can be initiated uh, with something like, thank you for letting me examine your shoulder, Lisa. So this demonstrates your awareness that uh, you've read the role play card and uh, you, you are not relying on any formulaic or uh, stock phrases and this is what you must keep in mind whenever you have a role play please uh, always see the context or uh, the background information see the first task and that's how you should determine how to initiate the interaction appropriately so i'll tell you a common mistake that a student can make here if they start the role play by introducing themselves or by asking the patient's name or by investigating why by uh, finding out why the patient is here that would be a wrong way that would be a wrong approach to start this role play so in this case we, we can assume the patient's name our introduction won't be necessary and we can simply start by saying thank you for letting me examine you lisa or something like Okay, Lisa, I have just examined your right shoulder. Thank you for letting me do that. And then we see the first task. Ask when the patient first began experiencing the pain and if the patient injured the shoulder. So there are two questions here. So we'll need to ask them one by one. So we could give a rationale to uh, Lisa as well. Before